Right, so we are going to finish putting the fan wires in, try and finish the exhaust, leave the clutch and make sure all that works. I was just told before I grabbed the, the, the camera that we were going to do this first. That was that was exactly what he said. We're going to do this first. Yeah, I want to do that because it's exciting and expensive. And I want to make sure it works. Yeah, and then uh, we'll get the exhaust finished. You, we didn't get exhaust clamps either. That's okay. We'll just hang it up. We'll make it work. It'll have exhaust leaks. Won't be a problem. It definitely did before. Yeah. But okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get the clutch bled, um, and uh, go from there. Just taping some wires. <laughs> well, I need to get a new pigtail for this. Yeah, you kind of messed it up. Oh, the bulb's like, like try and get that thing out, bro. I don't want to. But, so we got the radiator. Get out of my weight box. Got the, got the radiator set in place. Got the fan harness all loomed up nice and tidy. Got this fancy uh, Toyota connector here. And, uh, yeah, so now it's just uh, hoses and the Kool-Aid, oh, we also need to rib nut these in. Looks like there's already, that's where it was bolted to before, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we just got to open those holes up a bit and then bolt it down. Because they're definitely, it'll work. But yeah, so Ian's going to finish getting that loomed up. Um, I'm going to probably go ahead and drill those holes out and rib nut that in. Take his glory. I I love this tape so much. And then we'll uh, move on to the next bit. Two hours later, <laughs> Ian's like, still like looming minutes. things. It was not you know, 10 minutes. That was like an hour. But we still just like wrapping up his, his all of his wiring with the Tessa tape. Dude, look at how like... The dude's obsessed, okay? I'm over here like being productive. The radiator is now mounted in place like it's supposed to be. And what's this guy doing? Wrapping up electrical tape that's already got, you know, Real split loom on it. <laughs> yeah, just it's only been a little while. I've only used three rolls of this stuff so far. No comment. Okay, Ian. Oh, man. Adding the torque. Yeah. All right, so we got the cooling system with some coolant in it. Ran it for a bit, got it up to a decent temperature, and now we're uh, letting it cool off again. Putting wheels on. Um, Ian fixed the power steering pump, hopefully. Hopefully. It, it felt promising. <laughs> it felt promising. And, uh, yeah, so we just be the almost ready. Let's get her topped off with coolant. and <laughs> Yeah. And it's going to come up, too. But I guess, I guess it should be fine. Doesn't matter too much. Oh, we got to do the exhaust too. Yeah. You got to get under there and hang the exhaust now that it's nice and warm. Yeah, we're gonna let it cool off for a little bit. We're taking a break now. Yeah, we're taking a break. Des is out playing with the Jetta. Playing with. Trying to clean the inside of it too, so we can like move it. All right, so Ian's got his nice shifter assembly set up the way he likes it. And We're going to need to tighten these again. <laughs> Shocker. I know. Well, it is right where it needs to be, isn't it? Uh, it needs to be angled a bit more. But, uh, we're getting pretty close. It's pretty close. Okay. Do you have the hardware for that still? In a box somewhere. One of the that bolt was in there. We got one right here. Okay, so he's gonna get the exhaust hung up. We got the wheels on the front. We got the cooling system slowly filling up. A little bit at a time. And, uh, yep, we're almost there. He fixed the power steering pump on. 
yeah, so it's basically just like exhaust and uh, get it off the jack stands. Meanwhile, Ms. Desiree is over here doing the real hard work. Yeah, it's coming along. Yeah, looking good. This this one's almost done too. Yeah. Yep. Getting that good, good gas mileage. Yep. I think that thing gets like 47 miles to the gallon. Something like that. Yeah, that the Forerunner with the TDI in it gets 30-ish with a lot of stuff dragging. Hey, Ian, what, few mile, what kind of fuel mileage does this thing get? I don't know. Probably around 40. <laughs> I haven't driven it that much. Not, not good. It gets ta it gets Tahoe mileage. Right now, I think it's O2 avalanche. It's O2 avalanche. Okay, I'm gonna continue to not do anything while Ian struggles. Sounds a lot better now. That the belt. It's like chirping. We got some exhaust leaks. That's a given though. This side doesn't sound as bad as that side. Yeah, no, that's not too bad. Yeah, so we got it running. Doing pretty good. We're at 161 degrees. How accurate is that sensor? Pretty accurate. Because it was at 128 when I started it. Well, yeah, but it's like the air temperature. The air cooling temperature. But yeah, so we'll uh, get back to you guys. It works, it's noisy. All right, back this thing out of here. Straight back. Actually, turn the other way. You're going. You got room back here. Come on. Come on. Doesn't appear to be. Oh, it's low. Yeah, look in there now. Oh, like on the rack side? Yeah. Okay, so that didn't work. Well, it did. It's really cool. Right? Yeah. I'm just kind of like walking around. She's smoky. Smells a little rich.
What's the consensus on the work that we've done? Uh, everything's worth it. We gotta fix the power steering that immediately broke, but it worked really good until then. Still smoking. But it looks <laughs> I'm I'm guessing that's uh, the power steering fluid, or just whatever else we dumped on there. You know, nothing important. How's it going? Oh, it just wouldn't go? The, the throttle wasn't responding. Hmm. And now it won't start again. <laughs> well, yeah, so, got it going. Uh, it seems to drive smoother. doesn't shake nearly as bad. Um, Don't tell the YouTube that was I'm just trying to figure out what that smoke is. But yeah, so everything's good. It'll burn on. It works. It's got some minor things to fix up. Ian seems to be happy with it. I am thrilled. Especially with the wiring. Like, you know, everything yeah. Right Alright, so I figured out what happened with the Subaru. Um, somebody, one of the two of us here, didn't tighten the line. The fitting so we, we put the line in put the fitting on and it was just hand tight and we didn't tighten it up so we just pushed the fitting out so we'll just we just have to put it all back together and take it off that's going to be the worst part is taking it off and then put it all back together and then put it back on and it should be fine but yeah pretty simple um we moved the truck in the shop so that we could get that axle right there out so i have more room and uh cleaned up a little bit so hopefully It'll work, but yeah, okay. All right, so uh, Ian took off for the day, but uh, we ended up we did end up getting that power steering line replaced, um, but the, I think the pumps went tits up, so we'll have to find a new pump. It was expected to, it didn't sound good, but uh, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. This might be a shorter video, I don't know. We'll see, um, but smash that thumbs up button if you like the videos. Uh, Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And, uh, yeah. See you in the next one. Okay, here we go. Ian's first time on good, good hard pavement. It's way nicer.